Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back. We're back with a new video, another Christmas one. And this might go up just after Christmas. I don't know yet if I have time to edit it. It's currently Christmas Eve Eve and I've got plans tomorrow. So I don't know how much time I've got to edit this. I'm going to try to do it tonight. Sabrina Carpenter released a Christmas album a few weeks ago, roughly around a month ago, I think now. Fruit Cake. I don't like the album cover, but we will touch on that in a moment. Check out Patreon. This video is going up fully uncut, unedited, no skips, no, no tea left unspilled over on Patreon. Go over there, check this video out and all my other videos uncut, unedited. Check out the TV series that we're watching over there as well. American Horror Story, we're on season three. Check that out and don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe button. We want to go into the new year with growing numbers. Y'all know I appreciate it. And this album cover, let me just touch on that. Look at the rings. S, C, the initials. It's given guts. If you know, you know. If you know why I'm bringing that up, we're not going to get into it. But shady. Is she being shady? We've also covered Sabrina on the channel. We've done emails I can't send. Love that album. There's not a skip on there to this day. I love it. I listen to it on repeat. It's very mature. And I just like listening to it and vibing with it. So go check my reaction to that. Check out the other videos of Sabrina on my channel. And let's just jump into Fruit Cake. From the first title, A Nonsense Christmas, I know this is a Christmas version of the song Nonsense. Nonsense is one of my favorite on emails I can send. I want to know how we're switching it up. <laughs> the holiday remix starting it off, stating that with the jingle bells. <laughs> oh, instead of I want one number on my phone, it's I want you under the mistletoe. Okay, we're getting Christmas themed throughout. Creativity on 10. This song's just a vibe, just makes you want to just bounce and enjoy it. I'm talking. Oh. I'm talking deck in all the halls. This is my favorite part of the original. So the fact that she's incorporating the Christmas throughout, intertwining every lyric is twisted. Christmas themed spiking eggnog big snowballs girl nasty honestly I can listen to this with the original all year round don't have to be Christmas to listen to this turning an original song into a Christmas theme girl Two for one. Oh, we're ending on the fade out. She's been doing this song on tour, her tour, and I think she's doing it at the Eras tour as well, where she's switching it up depending on what city she's at. Why does she switch it up for the Christmas version? That's here. That's here where she goes. Look at all those presents, that's a big sack. Look at all the presents, that's a big sack. Okay. The package is too big to gift wrap. Girl! Girl, size queen! High energy, camp, fun, Christmas vibes, but a little bit of naughtiness. This is gonna be a roller coaster, I know that. And guys, I honestly forget this every time. Usually when we do a new album, I claim my track. This is a very short album, six tracks. So I'm only going to claim one, and it's Cindy Lou Who, because the Grinch, Cindy Lou, y'all know Whoville. Yeah, that's why I'm claiming that one. The next one is Buy Me Presents. Okay, not the heavy beat coming in, then we're playful, and it's given theatrical sing song. Oh girl, these vocals, this, this cadence, this, oh my god, I'm going to be obsessed with this one. Tan and Wise Man, so we're getting full on a Christmas biblical reference. When she uses that lower register, I like it. 
If you don't want to buy me presents, drink me like a warm glass of milk. Okay, so it's given love song, but breakup. I don't know if I've got that right, but it's given that vibe. He's unappreciative of you, so he's not willing to pay or spend on you. Oh no, not the ad libs. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. These ad libs, they're switching it up. Like super old. He's a little bit older, like super that attitude. From North Pole to Beverly Hills. Okay, I caught that lyric. It's just mellow. Makes me just want to sit back, close my eyes, and listen. Is this a saxophone? Is this an Lisa Simpson coming through? Okay. A little instrumental bridge. My throat's been sore singing, dancing, screaming in the bar. So yesterday I woke up and I wanted to record these yesterday, but I couldn't. I really couldn't. That's why we're doing today, Christmas Eve Eve. Last minute. Oh my god, last minute, yeah. This one is Santa Doesn't Know You Like I Do, and it's all the workcase, but it also has a music video. So if you guys want me to check out the music video, it will have to be after Christmas, but I certainly can. Just let me know down below. For now, we're going to check out the song. Okay, we're getting a little ballad. Okay. I'm obsessed with her voice. I'm obsessed with this. Oh my god, this voice. Girl, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. I'm obsessed. Santa doesn't know you like I do. I know all your favorite songs. Basically, what she's saying is, I know you better than you think. I know you better than that other person. So she's tying love stories into Christmas themed things. She's basically saying you're with that other person, but you belong with me. It's given you belong with me. Miss Taylor Swift, that music video. You're with her, but I wear short skirts. She wears all that nonsense. It's given that. The clicks. You all know that's my new thing, clicks and claps in the background. I obsess with that. This year, that's grown on me so much. Belting those notes just to get the power to the building, to the drop. Yes, Sabrina, yes. I need to address it. As I was listening, getting closer to the end, I was kind of a little bored because it was very repetitive but then we got that monologue we got the little cutesy vibe and then we got the acapella minimal production outro sabrina knows how to switch up a song she knows how to flip it twist it bop it and throw it at us and be like you thought this was what the song was gonna be like but i'm gonna switch it halfway through sabrina knows how to do that and keep us intrigued Love that song. Let's get to the next one. My claim track is next and it's the shortest. Two minutes, two seconds. So it's very short. I saw you laughing in one of his pictures, but you... Girl. Girl, don't give us ballad. Don't give us a two minute ballad. Don't bring this beat up. Bring it up. It kind of continues from the last one. It's a continuation. The melody is given... There's red and green everywhere. Red and green Christmas. Maybe he met you somewhere in This is what we're getting. Storytelling and lyrics. I expected these to be Christmas bops. We're getting depth. And he found someone better. It's given because I liked a boy. Melody wise, sonically. Ah, oh, this production. Oh my goodness, I've got chills. Oh, I've got chills and they're multiplying. I'm, mm, I need to pause it. I don't know why, it's just, it's making me zone out. Let's just listen. 
Why am I on the verge of tearing up? Just because of the sound. I'm not following these lyrics. I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not. But melody, sonically, production, everything, it's given very emotional and it's making me tear up. What a way to split this album in half. No, 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 I'm going to cry. That, I want to listen to it again. I want to listen to this, earphones in, lights off, close my eyes and lie back. That's what's happening. Once I finish these next two songs, then I'm going back to this one. I'm going back to that one. So next up is, is it New Year's yet? I will say I would have loved this one and the next one to swap on the track list just by titles, based on the titles, because we've got White Christmas next and Christmas comes before New Year's. So we, sh I, I, I would have rather them swapped. But we need to listen to them first. This one is, they're all, these next few are short. There are two minutes 40, two minutes 30. So they, or there is short tracks on here. What in the synth is this New Year's party? Oh, I'm sick and tired of this holiday girl. Getting two and a half weeks off work for me, off my full-time job. I'm sick of that and it's only three days in. One Thursday, okay, okay, okay. I had a half day on Tuesday, went out Tuesday night, Wednesday, went out Wednesday night. Then Thursday after one and a half days off work, I was bored, I'm fed up, I'm tired, I'm pissed off. So yes, I'm bored of this holiday. Oh, this one's gonna be the dance one. This one's gonna be the one that makes me wanna move. The production. It's my favorite so far. Oh, there's the little chimes. I'm getting bored. I said I've I've been bored. I've been bored. It's Saturday, and tomorrow I'm traveling because I'm bored of being at home. Yeah, Christmas Eve I'm traveling because I don't want to sit at home in this boredom anymore. And there's only so much I can do when it comes to editing videos and recording videos. Burnout is a thing. And the layers, it seems to be two different vocal layers on top of each other. No. Mm -mm. Cut the fucking camera. Turn this off. She's spitting. Listen to the switch up. It's the 25th, I wish it was the first bar. I'm gonna push him in the fireplace, girl just watch him burn. Okay. Fruitcake just makes me sick. Fruitcake makes me sick. Getting that title in there, getting that shout out. This is top, this is the favorite. This and A Nonsense Christmas, that first song, top two. Then we got Cindy Lou Who. Not Merry Christmas, Merry Xmas. It's shortened for the title. And it's a short track, less than two and a half minutes. Not the cover, not the sample, not... Not this intro. Girl, that was Fruitcake. And honestly, don't like the album cover. And as a title, it's quite odd. But collectively, it's a Christmas staple for me now. I feel like every year I'm going to be having this on repeat. That New Year's one that... What, is it New Year's yet? That one, that one's a standout and a nonsense Christmas just simply because of the playfulness and the naughtiness of it. Then Cindy Lou Who and White Xmas, those are my top four. Those are my top four. Let me know yours down below. What do you think of this project? And do you want me to check out that music video from this EP? Let me know down below. Let, give me all your thoughts on my reaction, the EP, Sabrina. Is there anything from Sabrina's past that you want me to check out that I haven't? 
let me know down below and don't forget to check this video out on patreon the full uncut unedited video is over there don't forget to subscribe down below like the video and have a very merry christmas and if i posted this after christmas i hope your christmas was merry i hope you had a very happy christmas you spent it with people you love and if you haven't had anyone around your christmas honestly don't feel alone don't feel that way there's always people there just reach out and find someone please i'll see you in the next video